Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Um, yesterday, on the 3rd of September, in the evening at about 5 o'clock, I think this picture was taken at 17.37. And uh, I was doing laundry. I was hanging out sheets in our utility area to dry because it's been raining for the past few days and my you know, dryer isn't working. So I was hanging out sheets, right? I wasn't in Bible studies. I wasn't uh, in prayer. Like, you know, I'm always in prayer internally, but not to my mind. I was not in prayer and I was hanging out sheets to dry, you know. And uh, I heard a voice saying, look up. I looked up and I see this enormous double rainbow in the sky. It had stopped raining like about 10 minutes before that. And this is the picture I took. As you can see, I mean, it, the picture doesn't do it justice. It was taken on my cell phone camera. It doesn't do it justice. There's enormous double rainbow in the sky. And I wanted to share this with you because when I saw this uh, rainbow, immediately whenever I see a rainbow, I think of God because, you know, that was his uh, covenant with us, his reminder that whenever you see the rainbow, you know, we think of him and we think of Noah's flood and we think of his promise that he will never destroy the world with a flood ever again. And this was his covenant of love with all of humanity. So whenever I see the rainbow, I think of that. But then I heard in my head a very clear voice saying seven. So I said, Lord, what does that mean? You really, you really are coming back. In seven days, that means. And this was taken on the third. That's yesterday evening. Okay. So I was very excited. And I was like, then I was like, suddenly like, what if I'm imagining this? You know, when we hear these things, we, it's, it's, it's so normal to think that I must have imagined that because there's seven colors in a rainbow. So I must have heard seven and, you know, I must have thought it myself. So I said, Lord, if this is you and if you said seven to me, you have to give me some uh, <laughs> some sort of proof that it was you because I don't want my imagination running wild. So after that, I didn't hear anything. This uh, rainbow lasted for a long time. I think it was about 17 minutes from the time it began. Uh, I had my cell phone with me, so I was taking pictures. I took a series of pictures. In fact, I have my cell phone right here. I took a series of pictures of this rainbow because it was so magnificent. Uh, I don't know if you can see. You know, I was, I was just, I, I took a whole bunch of pictures, whole bunch of pictures, like at least, uh, oh, you, I don't think you can see. So from the pictures, I can make out that it lasted for, 17 minutes because by the time it was over this massive uh, orange cloud appeared uh, I know you can't see this but I'm just telling you um, so so I had this you know I, I told the Lord that um, well, if the world is going to change completely in seven days because that's the input that I got in my head so if that's going to happen Lord you need to you need to show me something else because I'm not going to come out and make a video, um, you know, based on my own imaginations because that would just be wrong and that would not be helpful to others. So I left it at that, very excited in my spirit. Um, my spirit was very joyful and uh, it wasn't just about seeing the rainbow, but, you know, it's there was a, there was a joy in my spirit that when the word seven, you know, it came into my heart and there was tremendous joy in my spirit. So then I finished, you know, sort of hanging out my laundry to dry and I come into the study and my daughter, my seven-year-old daughter, by the way, she's watching a movie called Puss in Boots and uh, she hasn't watched this in years. So I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, uh, oh, I, I wanted to watch this movie, Mama, and she paused it. She she paused it, and the place where she paused it, 
it was this okay so when I came and I took a look at the screen I saw this it's a key with the number seven on it and now I watched Puss in Boots with her uh, several times before when it came out you know in 2012 2013 sometime that many years ago and I've never I don't recall this at all and she had paused it there because she wanted to she turned around to speak to me so she had paused it and uh, the screen froze at this. Our Lord is amazing. You know, I, I'm sure he was laughing. I'm sure, you know, the the cloud of witnesses were laughing when this happened because I see the rainbow. I come inside my house. My daughter's watching this movie. She pauses and there's a key, like a brass or a golden key with the number seven on it. So I said, Anya, can we watch this? Can we watch this together? She said, sure, Mama, I would love that. So I watched it. And here's a clip. There's the key, there's the door. And of course. <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, so there you go. That was the scene. And you know, I've, I've mentioned before that the Lord is always loving, always kind, and always extremely humorous when he gives me messages. So I watched this and I was absolutely stunned because did you see that the door where did that scene go? Where he where they shut the door and the door also has the number seven. Oops, where did it go? Wait, I'm gonna play this. Think of us. There's the key. There's the door. So I hope you saw that. So I see, I hear seven when I'm, you know, staring at this rainbow, at this double rainbow. And that was on the third, so that meant seven days. The world is going to completely change in seven days is the message I got. Very sobering messages. Uh, and then when I asked for a confirmation, my daughter pauses a movie she hasn't watched in years. And it stops at this key. And then as I shared with you, the door was shut. A door that had the number seven in the same scene. I've shared that clip with you. While it's hilarious, <laughs> I mean, don't even think about skipping them baby muffins. But my goodness, it's a sobering message. Seven days from yesterday would bring us to the 10th. Now, you remember I had done this video, appointed times. Yeah, and I'd spoken about this planetary arrangement and it ends in, uh, you know, on the 44th day on Kitavo on the 1st of September. And then I'd heard, the, I'd audibly heard 53 when I saw this. And uh, 53. But here, I realized whether you know the truth. Once I added the number 53 to this date, it came to. On the 10th of September, 2018, and that is in Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. 10th of September. September is also the first edition, Rosh Hashanah. So, extremely sobering message. I really didn't want to share this because, you know, I've shared messages before, and you know, nothing happened at that on that particular day. So I was very, I'm very wary about sharing messages that have dates on it. 
I'm very wary about that because it could mean something else, like something else is about to happen and we can't see the whole picture. We see through a glass darkly now. It's only once we get there we shall see face to face and all will be made clear to us. So, But this, that the world is going to change in seven days, is an extremely sobering message. And when I told the Lord, Lord, can I please not make a video about this? Uh, I got Ezekiel 33, which I will share with you. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet to warn the people and the sword comes and takes someone's life, that person's life will be taken because of their sin. But I will hold the watchman accountable for their blood. I don't want to be responsible for that. With, you know, when the Lord starts speaking to you, there's a tremendous uh, responsibility also that you relay the messages with as much honesty and as much truth as you can without adding anything to it. So I've shared all the things that happened. You know, seeing the double rainbow, hearing the word seven coming in, you know, and telling the Lord, Lord, I need more. I need more to go on. And then, you know, my daughter pauses this movie, Puss in Boots, which she hasn't watched in years. She pauses it at this, the key. And then the door shuts in seven days. Is the door going to shut in seven days? I really don't know, friends. But it's a very sobering message if it is. So Rosh Hashanah is the message that I have. The rapture is going to happen on Rosh Hashanah, which is seven days from the day I got the message from the Lord. Uh, I know it was from the Lord because no one else puts up a rainbow like that. <laughs> no one else can. Um, so this is the message I have today. Uh, take it or leave it. I'm washing my hands because I have shared it. Whether or not I be made to look a fool is, you know, something that we'll have to wait and watch. But I don't care about being uh, a fool in the eyes of, you know, mankind. As long as I'm right with God, that's fine with me. And when he led me to Ezekiel 33, I knew I had to share this. So I'm very excited in my spirit. Um, but I'm also very um, humbled and uh, scared for those who haven't found Jesus yet. Jesus is the only way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. So please, if you guys haven't come to Jesus yet, there are a million videos on YouTube telling you why you should come to Jesus, why he's the only way, he is the door to life. So please, uh, you know, I know most of you watching this have already come to Jesus, so I'm not worried about you, but I guess... If this video reaches you and you haven't, uh, and you don't know the Lord yet, please know that your world, our world, is going to change in an unbelievable way within seven days. I believe it's on Rosh Hashanah, which is the 10th of September. That's all I have to say uh, today. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And I think our time here is up. We've just got a week, this last week here. Goodbye, my brothers and sisters. And God bless you.